I'm not gonna video prep for all of these ceiling boards, but basically I'm going over it with a sand net, like a 220 grit, just to clean up the face of the wood. It's been in use for a while already, so it's just gonna clean it off and get it ready. I'm gonna use a pre-stain conditioner for oil-based stains from Verathane. And I'm using special walnut minwax to go over it. I'm not planning to seal it currently, but if I do, I'll be using a Osmo product. And I'll go over that in another video if I end up doing it. This is sealing, it doesn't really need to be sealed, and uh, I think it'll look nice with the satin look. So we're gonna go ahead and prep one of these boards. I'm also countersinking the holes at this time I want to minimize cracking. I've got some real close edge distances here. So after I stain it, I'll be gluing any of them that have started to crack and that'll prevent them from showing cracks on the ends. This very thing does call for you to apply it against the grain, so across. I found that this cedar is so soft that it really doesn't make a difference and it's very time consuming on a three and a half inch wide eight foot long board to try to go across the grain all the way so just make sure it's a good even application you get all your edges it will cause blotches if you do not apply it evenly stain really soaks into this and has a really mottled appearance if you don't use a pre-stain conditioner, so you definitely want to use one, unless you're looking for a modeled finish, which gives it a more rustic look, and that's fine. I'm going to remove it before it dries, give it about 30 minutes, and then you're ready to stain. Come back in about 30 minutes and get this guy stained. The pre stained conditioner has had 30 minutes to dry, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the stain on. let this dwell as long as you want to and you can do multiple applications depending on how dark you want it. I found that one application and letting it sit for just a few minutes is about perfect for the color I'm going for.
ceiling's pretty much finished. Turned out really good. I've made a few spacers at the front to help it follow the contour of the headliner. It fits real nicely there. I'm still working on this closeout panel. I've cut it down. This is the factory foam filler that came with it. I'm going to be making a wood panel that closes all of this out. And then I've got the, the other wood panel over there. I've painted the back of it with a gloss paint so that the 3M VHB tape will stick to it. Uh, and that should meet up with this, which will be covered in the gray felt that I use for the headliner shelf. The color is a real nice match for the countertops. This has got a good fit everywhere it needs to. Got the bed deployed right now. The last panel for the roof, which I'm not going to do right this moment, will cover from that corner to that corner, and it'll extend down a bit and be painted gray to watch uh, match the walls. I'm not certain exactly how I'm going to make that yet either. Kind of want to do it now before I put away all the saws and everything, but uh, also have a lot of other projects I need to get to. So, the interior is really. 95% finished, all the lighting working here. Got the dual zone ceiling lighting. I did not seal the ceiling planks, I'm not going to. They look great. They've got a nice matte finish. Uh, they should never really be touched or get dirty or anything. And I, if I ever need to go back and seal them, I certainly can. But the current plan is just to leave them as is. And very pleased with how things are coming together. Be sure to subscribe and tune in for the rear spare tire carrier and generator box, which I'll be... The current plan is to weld something up. Uh, Unless I just decide I have spent too much time here and just buy a set. But they're about $3,000 for a pair for a uh, generator box and spare tire carrier at least. So it's kind of silly. So I'll probably build them. But anyway, that's where we are now. Let me know what you think in the comments.